It's amazing how quickly the ocean can change. The choppy conditions yesterday had us considering going back to the dock for the night, but we made the last minute decision to stay here. And I'm glad we did because it's a beautiful morning. It's a nice morning here. Whoa, that sun is bright. It's so pretty out. It's quiet, very quiet. Go see what Mike's up to. Maybe I'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to waste the whole day. It's too nice out. Gotta go do something fun today. These are the voyages of Treasured Times, her continuing mission to explore the oceans of South Florida and the Caribbean, to seek out unknown islands and forgotten places, to give an unforgettable adventure to everyone who is welcomed aboard. Welcome aboard, Treasured Times. Captain's Log, November 13th, 2021. As you can see, we've been here before. Today is our red, we've got the red track, but we've, you can see the other colors that are all over the place here. We've anchored here at least two other times. Good morning, squeaky bird. The capsized vessel managed to stay afloat overnight, so it gave us a little bit of entertainment during breakfast. Here comes another boat. All right, I'm saying right now, this guy is definitely gonna be a circle jerk. Yeah. I give him at least one buzz around. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's going straight for it. It almost looks like he's driving right by it. Is he going to call a Coast Guard? Mm -mm. No? I don't think so? No, not with that boat. He's a weekend boater. Yeah. He don't know nothing about that radio. Okay. So that makes sense. What do you think, Squeak? Is he going to circle around? What do you think? Huh? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, they're taking pictures now. They're like, look at that, it's a sunk boat. Get too close now, boys. The ropes in the wire. He didn't quite do a full circle. He's a half a jerk. Yeah, half a jerk. <laughs> Can you see me? All right, well, we are heading out. There's only, I had to tame my wild hair with some water. There's only, couple of month and a half left of grouper season. I know um, stone crab season just started but we actually caught plenty at the beginning of the season so we're gonna go ahead and get some grouper. I know we've got like a little bit left in the freezer but we do eat a lot of fish especially when the season is open and, and there's plentiful fish. We do eat a lot of fish. It's a really nice morning. Sun is shining, there's a few clouds in the sky, but I think for the most part we'll have a nice, sunny, mostly sunny day. We'll spend the day on the water. Wouldn't want to spend it any other way. Fish on, cat, fish on! We got a screamer. Backpacker. Oh, oh yeah, nice. nice. Look at that. That's, That's one, a yeah. nice fish. That's a nice Spanish mackerel. I'll re rig. Okay. I got it. Okay. Sweet, we got us a dinner. We got dinner. What did we get? You want? Uh, one of them squid things. The glow in the dark yeah. one. Which I don't know how that works, because it's not dark. 
Well, we have anchored. We're over here by Delta Shoal. And it's, it's nice out here. We found us a nice little sandy spot. We're gonna go out in the deeper reef back over there and see if we can catch us a grouper. Maybe, we haven't been here in a while, so maybe we'll find some more anchors. I kind of miss looking for junk. It's fun. <laughs> He is. It's about 25 inches to the fork. So it's a nice, that's a nice fish right there. We are almost halfway through November. It may not look like it, but there's a bit of a chill in the air. The water temperature is also getting chillier by the week. Decided it's time to break out the wetsuits. Break out the wetsuits? Yeah, break out the wetsuits. It's time for wetsuits. I gotta find something for my hair. Here's a tip for you. When you're gonna pack your wetsuit away for quite a while, put it inside out, let it dry out like that. So if it gets mold, it grows mold on the outside, not the inside. Side note, Mares or Awkward Lung does not sponsor this YouTube channel, but if they'd like to, hit me up because we like these suits. Yeah. As usual, there are still so many lionfish that need to be eradicated. So as we search for groupers, we continue to do our part to help control the lionfish population. We're back. We're back. Post dive video. <laughs> One red grouper in the box. Lionfish in, in the, the box. box. 
and bam. He don't look too big, but he's like a 22 inch red. Yep, 22. 22 with mouth closed. Yep, he's a good gripper. Red grippers have to be 20 inches, so he's good. Right in the box for him. Some pretty big ones. Boy, he's a big one. He's heavy. 15. Yeah, that's pretty big. 15. Was we'll he the biggest one? Or was there a bigger one? This one's pretty fat, too. Is he bigger? Maybe. <laughs> oh, he's got like gut and yuck stuff all over him. Yeah. 15, he's about the same. Oh, look at this one though. He might be bigger. Oh, he's definitely bigger. We gotta measure him. He's definitely bigger. Who is he? No, oh, he's still 15 too. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit more. He's like fatter though. They're so big, like. They're such good lionfish. They're all eaters. Yeah. One of them had some really pretty patterns. I don't know which one it was though. Little fins had like these circle patterns. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of pretty. Ooh, he's still moving. He's twitching. My body's twitching. <laughs> we just had some lunch. We're getting ready to go. Round two. Round two. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. This polished stainless steel anchor is a nice find. Like I was hoping for, we found a few anchors along the way as we drifted down the reef line. It's unfortunate so many boaters drop their anchors in the reef without knowing how much damage it causes. November 14th now. It was so late last night. By the time we were done diving and got back to the boat, the sun was almost down and we had to hurry up and pack everything up because we had to make it back here. Uh, but I mean, it wasn't bad. We just went back slow and dodged the lobster pots as we went. <laughs> had to run with the light on so we could see what we're doing. Um, but we've just been cleaning up today and I'm getting ready to fillet these fish out. We already dropped off all the lionfish. Uh, I think we had 16 of them, something like that. 14, 16, 
But they were all monsters, they were all big. That's a grippy cheek.